Biden, Biden is back. America's facing a lot of problems, and the media has been clamoring for Joe to do an interview, but he has been playing hard to get. And I want to thank the press for coming in. We're going to send you back out in the cold. The hallway's not for much further down, so you get warm. <laughs> Biden has only granted seven one on one interviews with journalists this year, but don't worry, he did sit down for this hard hitting interview with tough as nails interrogator Drew Barrymore. Check out this grilling. Favorite room in the house. Do you know what it is? Well, actually, I don't think it's in the house. It's on the house, the Truman balcony, I think. Outside, looks over the. Yo! <laughs> if Flotus could change one of your habits, do you know what it would be? So many. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. For real. Can tell her anything. She's got a backbone like a ramrod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she does. <laughs> you don't want to mess with me with, with this woman. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Look, I don't want to complain about Drew Barrymore. I'm not going to blame her because I think she's charming and lovely, Jesse. And she was a child star like you. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. But do you think that Biden has to do more tough interviews? If, if Again, just like in the last segment, if they're not holding them to account, I mean, why not just kind of coast along like this? You can do an interview like this if you do other hard-hitting interviews because there's an appeal to an interview like this where you learn about the relationship and you get the softer side. That's fine. Everybody does that. But if she's the only one you're doing in the last three months, <laughs> then you're, we're getting played. And he's been playing us, and he's been using the two excuses. One, I'm old, and, you know, listen... I'm an old guy, and I'm being protected by my team, and they don't want to put me out there because, oh, I might say something, and they might let, let Okay? He's, that's been effective. Yeah. It's been effective during the campaign when he did the COVID thing. I can't go out of my basement. And for the first two years, he's done less interviews than Reagan, Bush, Obama, Trump, everybody. I mean, it's by a country mile. And he's going to continue to do this. And what I'm worried about is the next say it's a Democrat, anybody, gets in, some 45-year-old, 50-year-old president gets in there where they don't have the age as an excuse anymore, and he plays the same game, and he just doesn't talk to the American people. And then we're just being run by people we didn't really elect, and that's the scary part. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what the, the strategy worked during the campaign because he spent it in the basement, yep. and it worked for him, so I guess he should just keep doing... What well, also, works. the media at the time was just wholly focused on Donald Trump. Like, yeah. And they didn't really give a lot of coverage to Biden. They tried to cover Biden, but they really were focused on President Trump. And actually, they still are, to, to a great extent. Um, I think that if he wants to run for president again, he's not giving Democrats a reason to want to support him. So the Fox News poll that ju we just had said something like, I don't know, 49 percent of people said they wanted him to run again overall. Um, and that for Democrats, it was only 63 percent of Democrats. Now, that was up from the year, about six months ago. But he's not giving them a reason to say, that guy can do it again. We should fully get behind that guy. They're tentative. They're waiting. They're seeing an interview like with Drew Barrymore. Sure, it's perfectly lovely. But another reason to do an interview is to give your team something to work with and to give them a little bit of cover. To me, the spokespeople for the administration are floundering especially when it comes to the border. And there's one decider, there's one commander in chief, and that person should do an interview or a fulsome speech where he can fully explain to the American people what his plan is at the border, because that is the number one issue, as well as the economy. But on the border, everybody's focused there. It doesn't look like he is. And their spokespeople are out there blaming Republicans for helping the smugglers. Yes. And Jessica, just as strategy, why doesn't Biden sit down with some reporters that are tough, maybe some right wing reporters? You remember the way President Trump, the people yeah. on the right, you know what they liked the best when he went at it with a reporter? You know, remember when he was with Leslie on 60 Minutes and he was like, no, 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 Leslie, no, no, I'm not going to let you get away with that. Right wingers love that. They were trading that interview around. I think people on the left might like it if Joe mixed it up with some right wingers and he did the whole tough Joe act and maybe he blew his stack a couple of times. What do you think? Mm -hmm. He does succeed when he's unvarnished, when yeah. he says things like, you know, you're a dog-faced pony liar or whatever he said. Soldier. <laughs> Soldier. Sorry. Um, 
And frankly, he hasn't taken an appropriate victory lap for the midterms. This is the time to sit down with for a long for an hour long interview and talk about why Democrats were the choice in the midterms that people made that everyone predicted this red wave. Jesse Waters, most of all. And it's not what not ha- and, uh, a lot most. I the thought. Trafalgar guy was worse than you. But there was other people that were worse. I'm not going to name names like Senator Top Cruz or Senator Lindsey Graham. Yeah. OK, so he should do he should do more because he's actually good at it. And I do find that he is his sharpest when he's being asked sharp questions. If you ask a meandering question, then he can give you like a malarkey answer. Yes which is why he needs the tough questions, Judge. But I think his window may be closing. Maybe right after the uh, election, he could have got away with it. But I think Democrats are gunning for him now because a lot of Democrats don't want Joe Biden to run for re-election. So the, even the Democrats are going to be tough on him. Am I, am I right? Yeah, I agree with you. I think that um, during the, the midterms, we realized that there were many Democrats who didn't want him anywhere near them in races. Some of them were contested and, and close races. I think Joe Biden, if he had the wherewithal, uh, would sit down with a reporter and be able to go back and forth on issues like, you know, your, your, your secretary of Homeland Security says the border is open. Your vice president is in charge of the root causes. Have you determined what they are yet? Uh, what are you going to do about crime in this country? I mean, there are some significant issues that need to be answered. You can tell me this guy is focused and unvarnished or he's this or he's that. I think he's inept. I think that anyone who is a president of, I believe, the greatest country on earth should have the ability to sit down and talk about what he is doing and answer questions honestly. He is now surrounded by a press that is looking to, uh, for, looking to do nothing but cover him. And the evidence is pure and simple, as we can see, with what happened with the FBI, Twitter, and uh, the, the, the whole Hunter Biden thing, which is about Joe Biden, ultimately. But I think that uh, his denial and his refusal to do this is a comment on his belief that he can't or his staff's yeah. belief that he's incapable. Well, I tell you, I, my prediction, he's not going to sit down with you, Judge. Hi, <laughs> everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.